Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. Dancehall entertainer Vibes Cartel and his two co-accused have been acquitted of the murder of St. Catherine businessman Barrington Bossy Burton after the prosecution offered no further evidence. However, Cartel will remain in custody because he has another murder case pending against him. Meanwhile, Cartel's lawyer Christian Tavares Finson says the defense is now awaiting instructions whether to file another bail application for the artist. And Maxine Jackson, the lead prosecutor in the Bossy Burton murder case, says the Crown did all it could to secure a conviction. There's more disquiet in the People's National Party Youth Organization as one of its just suspended senior executives has resigned. Karen Woods has quit as chairman of the Kingston chapter one day after he and two other members were suspended. The police have destroyed seven acres of fully grown ganja plants and seized 800 pounds of procured weed in St. Elizabeth. The weed was discovered in the Duff House community during a police operation. Britain's new prince has been named George Alexander Louis. According to palace officials, the two-day-old baby and third in line to the throne will be known as His Royal Highness Prince George of Cambridge. In sports, Jamaican sprinter Asafa Powell says all his checks on the controversial supplements he took indicated that they were fit to be used by professional athletes. Powell and fellow MVP track club star Sharon Simpson, who both tested positive for a banned stimulant in June, spoke to a select group of reporters on Tuesday night. In your weather forecast, Thursday will be mainly sunny in the morning and partly cloudy and windy in the afternoon. And that's it for the Daily Minute. I'm Daniel Mitchell.